Hi everyone, Colleen here. I just want to show you a little card we made last month in our class. It's using the uh, My Anchor. Mm, I've got it here. My Anchor dies and the stamp set and the thin cuts. Now look, this is the last chance you'll get to get them because at the 30th, on the 30th of April they're no longer available. So you know, if you want them, set, find a consultant and get them now. They are fantastic. I love this set and it's a wonderful one for boys. So today we'll be using the lighthouse and the little boat, the larger boat and the little heart. And what this card does is when you pull it, the little boat goes across the front of the card like that. I've made this one a little bit tight so the next one I've made just fractionally smaller for this piece here. But I just want to show you how to make it. It's using a standard card which is what I like to show you, something that you can use a normal card with. So let's get started. So our card base measures um, eight and a half by five and a half. What we're going to do is cut off half an inch on one end. Remove that. Pop this out of the way and bring in our scoreboard. And on the other side, on the other end, so this is our the end that we've cut off. So if you measure it, it will measure uh, three and three quarter inches. So on this end here, on the longer end, which measures four and a quarter, we're going to score at half an inch. And that's it for that bit. Put that away. Then we're going to fold and burnish the score lines. Right, so that's how it'll look. So you have your cut off end, you fold in the middle, and your half inch score there. Now we're going to take a piece of paper which measures two by five and a half inches. Now in the original one, out of the regatta paper, I used the waves, but I've run out. So I thought we'd use the anchors, or you could use the other side with the little boats, which would be just as good, but I'm going to use the anchors. And we're going to place that on. Now you could stamp first if you wanted to, but I always place this bit on first. And you're going to stamp it, uh, place it. Oh gosh, it's up there. Place it right onto the score line. Let's fold that up. Now I have cut it fractionally longer, so I can trim it off, which is what I. Oh gosh, that's not straight. Try that again. That's better. Huh. Now it's on. Now we'll trim it off. That's better. So we'll just trim off any ex excess that hangs over. Now the next thing I like to do is taking the thumb punch, you close the card, take the thumb punch and you place it in. You place it about that far in and using that centre line there, line it up with the piece and punch. Ooh, and that's just gone everywhere. So that gives you this section for pulling. So once you've done that, uh, you can now stamp. And if you have a cloud stamp, use that. If not, it doesn't really matter. You can just put the little birds all over, but I haven't had a cloud stamp from one of the old stamp sets and I'm just going to randomly stamp a few clouds in and around the page just like that and that's in Glacier and then I'm going to take oh, the sapphire ink and using the three little birds from the stamp set so the three little birds from there I'm just going to randomly stamp a few little birds around the page, just like that. I don't think we'll do any more than that. I think that'll be enough. I'll just give these a quick scroll. Right, so we'll put that away. That's all we need. Now what we're going to do next is taking our trimmer. We're going to lay now we're going to turn our card backwards so that the open end is down here and we're going to lay it in at one and a half inches and then we're going to bring our blade 
to the half inch point I'll show you in a moment now score so with it at oh, half inch three quarter inch I meant so I want it to sit directly on the three quarter inches and we're going to score it down to four and a half so down to the four and a half inch mark like that and then we're going to lift we're going to move it in a quarter of an inch we're going to lay it back down and from the four and a half inch point back down to the three quarter inch mark just like that when we open it up, we have this little cut inside our card. Now we'll pop that aside for a minute because we're going to add our centre section. Now our red measures are four and three quarters by three and five eighths, and our white piece measures four and five eighths by three and a half. So we're going to attach that the white on top of the red. Now that just fits directly, it butts up to the bottom, as you can see, just like that. We'll put that aside for a minute. Now we're going to take our, our tiny little piece, I've written it on the back, measures 5 eighths by 1 inch. And you're not going to see this because that gets threaded through here. So we go to the back of the card, before we do that we'll add the glue dots. Because I found that if you try and do it after, it's just too hard. So we'll take our glue dots and on the right side we're going to add them on either side. I'll show you in a minute. So it goes on up the back. So they sit like this. You don't want any of it hanging over because it will stick to the underside of the card. Now the way we're going to put it in, I've put it on back the front. Do excuse me while I cut another piece. <laughs> we have moments of sheer stupidity, don't we, sometimes? So I'll just grab a scrap and cut another small piece. <laughs> what a naughty. So if I cut it at one inch, that's what happens when you write on things. You shouldn't write on anything, you're only going to use it. Oh, I think I'll cut that at half inch. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Numpty head moment. Oh well, there we go. Take two. Get our glue dots, attach them to the piece. Now I'm just using the large glue dots and folding them over because I don't want them to interfere with the centre of the, the piece. So I'm just putting it on about halfway, fold it over. And then I have my glue dots in like that. Grabbing our card, flip it over. Now lift the centre section like that and just slide that in. And then push that all the way to the end, just like that. So that the two glue pieces are sitting like this inside your card. Now take this piece, turn it over lay in between the two score lines at the top and level with the top and let it fold down over that piece just like that so now that piece is now attached to that little white strip now we're going to take some tape runner uh, some tape i found that tape runner is not strong enough for this so you actually need tape we're going to add a piece across the bottom And we're going to add a piece down this half inch side. Trim it off. Now we're going to make sure that our card is nice and centered. Just nicely, like we'll the peel this bit off. Oh gosh, I've got my little box. Hot, and we're going to fold our half inch side over. Inside of my card, it's not very tidy, but that's what happens when you've got ink on your hands. And then now we're going to fold this side over 
and match it up with that edge. Just like that. So when I pull, open it this way, there's our little slider locked inside. Yes, I didn't do a very good job. And like I said, when all else fails, trim off the crappy bit. Ta -da! There we go. So now I've already pre-stamped and cut out these pieces here. Now this bit here is just the bottom of the lighthouse and I've done this one in desert sand. I'm just going to trim that off like that. Add a bit of tape to the bottom. Attach that to the bottom of my lighthouse so it looks like the rocks. And what have I done? Oh, here's my tiny little piece. This little bit here measures half inch by two and a half. And that piece we're going to stamp happy birthday. Now I, I pinched that one out of this stamp set here. Now this is another one that's going. So if you want this one, you've got to get it now or it's gone forever. And this one's pirate birthday. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this one. So I just stole the happy birthday matey out of that one. So on to the front. Mm. Now I think I'll do that in sapphire ink. I'll move everything because I'm just as likely to drop it. We're going to ink up our happy birthday and put it off to one end. Just like that. And I'll clean that before we end up with a mess. Shut this. Now we're going to attach this piece here to the back of the lighthouse. So what I like to do is add some tape to the back of the lighthouse and just stick that on anywhere. That there we do nicely. And I'm going to take the scissors just towards the back of the lighthouse. I'm just going to cut it off in a little wedge so that it looks like the light coming out from the lighthouse. And before I did that I should have already bannered the end. Doesn't matter, either way will do. There we have it. So we've got that. Now we'll just add our adhesive to the back of it. Now the one thing you want to make sure is when you put this on, it can't interfere with where the little boat's going to float across. So you need to put it in about, about here. And do put in straight. That'll sit across there like that. And then we've got our tiny little boat that will just stick to the back somewhere. I'll put that on that bit that I'm not happy about. There we go, just like that. And then we've got a tiny little heart that I cut out as well. And we'll use a little bit of glue dot here just to stick that onto the, where the anchor bit is like so and then we'll take now I've got some of these that I got from spotlight because I like the size of them and that goes into the center making sure it doesn't touch anything else peel it off and center up your boat so it goes on like that so when you pull it it slides across the card so what I'm going to do now is take this piece and add our matey underneath and in through the ink I'm going to stamp that. I've got it back with my block. Oh. This happens. That down. I like to do it after the card's made because then you can get it in the right spot. If you do it beforehand, you could have it too far off to one side. So that's my little card for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it and give this little one a go. Until next time, keep on creating and thanks for watching. Bye for now.